In 1952 McDonnell Aircraft concluded that the U.S. Navy was in need of a new type of aircraft, an attack fighter. McDonnell's first approach was to revise the F-3H Demon with new engines, and in making it modular. The Navy ordered a full-scale mock-up, but did not proceed to order the aircraft. McDonnell's design was then reworked into an all-weather fighter. The Navy had the company rework the plans even more. The new demands were for an all-weather fleet defense interceptor. A seat for a radar operator was added to the design. Two prototype X4H1 and 5YF4H1 pre-production aircraft were ordered in July 1955. The first flight took place on May 27, 1958. Despite a hydraulic problem with the landing gear on the first flight, test flights went smoothly. After some redesigns the Navy selected the F-4H as their interceptor, over the Vought XF-8U3 Crusader III. The F-4H-1 was redesignated the F-4A in 1962. Forty-five were built. They were mostly used for test and training. The U.S. Navy and the Marine Corps received the F-4B, which flew for the first time in March 1961. The F-4B had Westinghouse APQ-72 radar, and a Texas Instruments infrared search and track pod under the nose. It also had an ANAJB-3 bombing system, and was powered by J-79 GE-8, 8A and 8B engines. It was delivered from 1961. 649 F-4Bs were produced in total. The U.S. Air Force modified the Phantom II for both an air-to-air -air and air-to-ground role. The Air Force version was designated the F-4C. The Air Force would also use the F-4D and the F-4E. The F-4E introduced an internal M61 Vulcan cannon. A number of different versions of the F-4 were made during its production, including a number of export versions. There were also tactical reconnaissance variants, the RF-4B, C and E. 5,195 Phantom IIs were produced in total. Although the Navy first ordered the F-4, the U.S. Air Force actually became the largest user of the Phantom. Air Force Phantom scored the first air-to-air -air victories against North Vietnamese MiG-17s during the Vietnam War, in 1965. A U.S. Air Force Phantom was the first American aircraft shot down by a surface-to-air missile, in July 1965. In October 1966, an Air Force F-4C became the first American aircraft shot down by an air-to-air -air missile, fired by a MiG-21. Air Force Phantoms in Vietnam performed both in air superiority and ground attack roles, as well as in the reconnaissance role. Air Force Phantoms also performed wild weasel air defense suppression missions. 445 U.S. Air Force Phantom fighter bombers were lost in the war, as well as 83 Air Force RF-4Cs. In 1990, Air Force F-4G Wild Weasel and RF-4C Phantoms served in Operation Desert Storm, over Iraq. The last Air Force Phantoms were retired in 1996. After 1996, some were converted to QF-4 target drones. VF-121 Pacemakers was the first U.S. Navy Phantom operator, but VF-74B Devilers was the first squadron using the F-4B. The Phantom's first full carrier deployment was aboard the USS Forrestal, between August 1962 and March 1963. When the Vietnam War broke out, 13 of 31 deployable Navy squadrons were using the F-4B. During the Vietnam War, Navy F-4s claimed 40 air-to-air -air victories. 73 Navy Phantoms were lost in combat. Another 54 Phantoms were lost in accidents. The F-4 Phantom was retired from the U.S. Navy in 1987, except in the target drone role which it served in until 2004. The Marine Corps received its first F-4Bs in June 1962. In May 1965, 
Marine Phantoms were deployed to Da Nang Air Base in South Vietnam. They flew close air support missions, as well as photo reconnaissance missions. The F-4 served in the Marine Corps into the early 1990s, when it was replaced by the F-A-18 Hornet. The F-4 Phantom II served in several countries around the world. Australia leased 24 Phantoms between 1970 and 1973. A total of 42 F-4E Phantoms served in the Egyptian Air Force. The German Luftwaffe used RF-4Es in both reconnaissance and ground attack roles, between 1969 and 1994. The Luftwaffe also used 24 F-4Fs until 2004, as well as 110 ICE upgraded F-4Fs between 1992 and 2013. F-4Es were delivered to Greece starting 1974. In the 1990s, Greece acquired RF-4Es, as well as additional F-4Es. The Hellenic Air Force also operated upgraded Phantoms until 2017. In the 1960s and the 1970s, Iran bought 225 F-4D, F-4E and RF-4E Phantoms. The Phantoms saw extensive action during the Iran-Iraq War in the 1980s. As of 2014 Iran were still operating Phantoms. The Israeli Air Force operated a large number of F-4s between 1969 and 2004. F-4Es, RF-4Es and modified F-4s were used. The Japan Air Self-Defense Force purchased 140 F-4EJ, and Mitsubishi built 138 F-4EJs under license. 14 RF-4Es were imported. While several of the Japanese F-4EJs and RF-4Es have been retired, a number of RF-4Es remain in service. They are scheduled for retirement in 2021. The South Korean Air Force were delivered F-4s, between 1968 and 1988. The Spanish Air Force operated F-4Cs from 1971 to 1989, and RF-4s from 1971 to 2002. A Turkish RF-4E was shot down by Syrian air defenses in 2012, and became a news story. Turkish Phantoms has been in service since 1974, and were still in service in 2020. The United Kingdom is the only country outside the US that operated the Phantom at sea. The UK Phantoms had Rolls-Royce Spey engines. UK F-4Ks and F-4M served in the Falklands War in 1982. The British Phantoms were in service from 1968 to 1992.